is that we all be treated equally. But the human heart has a will of its own, and therein lies the stuff of which history is made. So I remember being in the car with the federal marshals and driving up in front of the school and seeing this mob there. Um, but my first thought was that it's Mardi Gras. At six years old, Ruby Bridges didn't realize she would be part of history by walking up the school steps and entering an all-white elementary school in Louisiana. Until much later on in the year did I realize what was going on. And that's when a little boy said to me, I can't play with you because you're black. 38 years later, she is traveling around the country speaking to children about her experiences. She Who recently the visited the Children's Museum of Virginia City. in Portsmouth. When I was six, I knew nothing about racism. It was adults that sort of put me in that situation. And so I understand how kids feel when they're put in that sort of position. Her story is just one of several seen in a traveling exhibit designed to educate children about the dangers of racial bias and hatred. And to one child, she's become a symbol of courage. I liked how she was brave about going to a white school, and she was the first girl. To Ruby, seeing children of all races singing together is a dream come true and a hope for the future. It means a lot to me to just sort of take a look today at you guys sitting there together. It reminds me that what my parents did was not in vain. Ruby's small steps into integration paved the way for many others during the 60s, but today she feels the burden of racism is still being forced onto children. I think it's a shame that we as adults are passing this on to our children, and we have to be if we're still talking about it today, 40 years later. I'm Vandora Williams for This Week in Hampton Roads. This is a special live Friday night.